welcome two of our cyclists from Team Australia, Jess Gallagher and Caitlin Ward. Congratulations on winning two gold medals. How did you feel when you realised you had one gold? Absolutely ecstatic. I definitely couldn't believe it. It was a huge moment, something I'll cherish for the rest of my life for sure. She was incredibly nervous before you start a match. Do you have a lucky pair of undies or socks? <laughs> well, I think that when I feel nerves, I know that I'm ready for a big competition. I think when I was younger, I was taught that nerves are a bad thing, but I actually think they're really, really good because they help you know that you're prepared and you're ready for a big race and a big competition. So when I feel my nerves, I think I'm, I'm ready to go. Uh, I don't have a lucky pair of undies, but I, um, I do like listening to some music and I like feeling like motivated and pumped up and getting really excited before a race, but I don't have a lucky pair of undies. <laughs> Is it scary being the pilot and a pair of ice for two people? It's definitely different to riding a single bike, that's for sure, but we have a lot of fun on our tandem, so I, it's not, not scary, it's fun. What inspired you to do so many different sports? I just love playing sport. I grew up uh, in Geelong in Victoria and I was a, a sporty kid and I loved playing every single sport and one of the things that I remember the most from growing up was when my mum once said to me that you'll never know if you like something unless you try it and so I've done that with all the different sports that I've played and I've found that I've loved all of them for different reasons so that's why I love all the different sports because they're fun to play. Yes. How did you feel when your old pilot Maddie left and Caitlin came in? <laughs> well, I've been very lucky over my career. I've worked with uh, lots of different pilots and they've all been wonderful women. And so I was sad when Maddie left because we had a great relationship, but I was very, very lucky when Caitlin came along because we have just as good a relationship. And so it kind of feels extra fun for me, I think, because I get to go on these experiences and compete at events like the Commonwealth Games with lots of different people. And uh, it means that I get to share lots of these memories um, with many people. So it's been a lot of fun. Hey, what's your technique for memorizing new skills? Practice makes perfect, I suppose. I just um, like to train really hard and I like to practice all of the things that we need to do on race day. So. If there's a new process that I need to learn, we just do it over and over and over. So I'm confident with it. So when it gets to race day, it's a uh, part of the natural. yeah natural process. Yes, 19 years ago, when you started losing your eyesight, were there as many resources available to you as there are today? That's a really good question. Uh, no, there weren't as many resources available. And so it, uh, I think that I'm very lucky to live in the day and age of technology because what it means is that people have been able to develop adaptive technology and adaptive technology is technology that allows people with low vision like myself or mobility issues to be able to access parts of the world that perhaps were um, not accessible to them previously. So for example, for me, uh, you know, I'm coming to you guys, Katie and I are coming to you from a smartphone which enables me to have large font on the screen. So if somebody sends me a message, I can read it. Whereas when I was diagnosed 19 years ago, um, they didn't exist. And so it meant that um, getting around the world was much more challenging for me. So I'm very lucky that these days there are lots more resources, there's lots more education. And so people are far more aware of uh, the accessibility requirements that someone like myself with low vision might need. So you just have to choose one word to sum up your relationship with your partner while you are competing in an event, what would it be? Probably tenacious. We're a very aggressive pair. We trust each other wholeheartedly and um, we look for the one percenters to make our races as perfect as possible. So um, yeah, there's, there's probably a few words that could sum up our relationship and commitment to this bike.